Okay, okay, welcome everyone to the video. And today we're going to have a look at how we can use the fill option here on the Digitone to uh, to create fills on the MPC. So it's basically the same thing when you do it here, but when you're using a MIDI track, you can send that to the MPC and therefore you'll create fills on the MPC via MIDI. If I go here and I'll show you these triggers, these are MIDI notes, same thing as this here on the MPC. So these are MIDI notes on the grid. The tricks are exactly the same thing. There are MIDI notes on the grid. Uh, but what happens here is that you have an option and if you tap on the pad, if you tap on one of these keys here, you'll see that these uh, parameters here will light up. And that's because they are conditioned to a specific value. And they are conditioned to a fill so what is a fill? What a fill relates to this button right here, the page button. Uh, when you press on the page, it will trigger the fill, the uh, the option uh, fill that you have here. So you have several options. You have uh, percentage, you have ratios as well. So you have several op options here that relate how the trigger is going to react. Okay. So in this case, I'm using the fill option. And that means that when the sequence is playing and I press on this button, the page button, it will trigger these triggers, th these MIDI notes. So let me show you how it actually works. So now you're just listening to the drums that are coming from the MPC. If I press on the fill, all these triggers are going to be activated. All right, cool. Pretty simple stuff to do. Uh, and it's the one of the ways to actually see it better is if I go here and delete everything that's on the grid right here and if I press play you'll hear no beat but it, when I press on the fill you'll see that the pads will start to light up and that's because I'm sending the MIDI from the MIDI out to the MIDI end of the MPC and that's triggering these pads right here through the MIDI notes that I've recorded here on the Digitone. Now that I've taken away the MIDI notes from the track, you'll hear that when I press on the on the button here, you'll see that the pads will light up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. So let's go and do that. And you can even you can even record this, you can send the MIDI data and if you want to record, so if you made a beat here, you can send it over and record, record it to the MPC via MIDI. So let's, let's hear it. Obviously everything now is recorded. So let's undo this. Let's get back. Let's get back here to the beat. And once again, I'm gonna show you how to actually use this in a live situation. I'm gonna go here to the uh, to the track mutes, and I have my drums right here. I can mute and unmute and use the fill option at the same time. So it creates really good interaction with the music. So let's go. So I'm using that technique now to interact with the MPC and sending these trigger options, these conditional trig options to the MPC via MIDI. And it's a lot of fun. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So conditional trigs here with the fill option 
on the Digitone, sending those informations to the MPC to create fills, drum fills here with the MPC. So that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, thank you.